All right, we're back. So I've got this stick all sanded down now. And I did, if you can see there, I put a nice little rounded top on it. I'm going to get up and show you here. So here's that nice rounded top. I've been calling this stuff here worm damage. I know it's probably just some kind of bug. But I'm going to call it worm damage. I might call it bug damage. Who knows? I don't know if you can see it very well. It's in really good shape. And then right here is my favorite part of the stick. Uh, that is going to look good. So we're going to put a finish on it today. And I'm going to start here at the bottom. Now I've got a uh, old can of Woodsman interior exterior polyurethane varnish 012 gloss bar. So I've already done a piece here just to stir it up. And I really like the way that looks. Don't know if you can see it or not. We'll try and give you a shot of it there. All right. So I'm just going to let that sit here and dry. Just so I can see what it is. Now I'm going to give this a real light coat. And when I'm done, I'm going to stand it up over here to my right. And it'll, it can just sit there and drip down in. I got a plastic top to a tote and then I'll just lean it up against the house and we'll see how all of that turns out now I've got a total of three sticks here that I want to try this on and this is the one that we've been working on in this series so we're gonna we're gonna go for it here I'm using a just a sponge originally my my thought was to yeah, you can see that. My thought was to use a, a cloth to put this on. But I decided that, you know, I got a little bit of cracking here that I want to get this down into. And I just think a brush is a lot better. Let most of it get off of there and then go for it. I'm putting this on so that it's there's really no bubbles. So I want to come back with the lighter or blowtorch or whatever your favorite tool to use is. And get the bubbles out. There might be a few left over. Again, this is a walking stick, so how perfect does it need to be? You're liable to have to fight off a bear. You never know. So these are going to take a little while. I'm going to get a little bit of this on here, and then I'm going to bring it up to the camera and let you decide how it looks. It's kind of making it a little more of a golden color, which I actually kind of like. Um, I want to get some clear one of these days that will just, it won't darken it. It'll just bring out the true light colors. And the worm damage or the bug damage, I'm calling it word, worm, remember? It will really bring that out. So these spots here, this is a rough spot for a brush. I definitely would not have worked with the rag.
and again these might get some bubbles in them but i'm going to try and get them out just kind of poking on them like that popping most of them Turning out pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Now, this thing has cracked a lot more than I was expecting it to. But they seem to be fairly minor cracks. So I'm going to kind of have to watch it and see what it does. i got a lady down the street that wants one. So I'm going to try and get these three finished up and not sure what I'm going to do for the feet yet. I kind of like just leaving them the way they are. I might explore a few other ideas. I've got some feet that are made for like crutches or canes. A big old rubber foot. Kind of like a boot almost. I really don't like the way those look. They deter from the quality and the color and everything of what I'm doing here. Those just kind of look like, you know, for lack of better wording, I guess, uh, goodwill appliance or attachments. <laughs> I want them to look pretty good. I am going to play with some toppers also. Right now I'm just getting started. Even if I tell you and I'm an expert on lying, I'm not. Just a lot of fun. And I'm probably going to speed this up now. Actually, before I do that. Let me bring this over to you. I don't, again, I don't know if you can see it very well. But that is really turning out nice. I'm about halfway. So I get it up here a little, a little closer. I'll go stand it up over there and just touch it from the top. Lean it up against the house. If it gets anything on it, that's all right. We're going to repaint this summer. All right, we're going to finish this thing up here. We've got about 10, 12 inches to go. And I'm going to bring you in closer, and then I'm going to show you the next two sticks I'm going to finish. And then these things will be ready for a new home. Now I may also attach like a leather strap or a paracord to the top here. That's my, that's my intentions. And yes, I should have done that before I put the finish on, but I didn't. Remember, I'm retired. There's no rules right now for me.
you know, about wearing an old pair of pants here is they work really good as a rag in a pinch. <laughs> ah, I see a little bit of mist down there. Here it is. Looking pretty good there. And there's the uh, tote top. And if anything gets on the ground, it'll pick it up. All right. Now I'm going to show you the, my other two here. What I'm going to do. So I've done these, I have them all sanded before. The one on the left is a black walnut. And the one on the right, I'm guessing, is uh, some kind of maple. And it has the worm or bug damage on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish these off camera. I'll bring you back when they're done, and then uh, you can decide which one you like the best. Stand by. So I wanted to give you a, a little before and after. Uh, lighting sucks. But this is the uh, black walnut stick. So you see how light it is here, but it's still a medium brown. And then with that Verithane on it. Boy, it turns dark. That's going to look really good when I get it done. All right. Got all three of them done. Sorry for the lighting, the shadows. That's them. Cool. This here thumbstick is black walnut. I'm thinking I'm going to give them another coat. But for today, they're perfect. So if I give them another coat, I'll show you what that looks like. Other than that, Hope everybody enjoyed this. Have a good day. Take care.